I love the GameCube. There's a lot of awesome games for it, but what I get the most use out of is the Game Boy Player. Playing Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy games on the big screen. I have the uh, RetroBit Prism HD adapter plugged in the back. So, you know, HDMI, then a GC loader equipped in here so I could load games off of an SD card or load up Game Boy interface and play my Game Boy games that way through, you know, cartridges. But the one problem that I've had is I love this controller. I love the Wave Bird. I love the original GameCube controller. But for the Game Boy player, it's not that great. This little as D-pad, my, my thumb is bigger than it. I just, I can't really play games comfortably with that little D-pad. Then to play stuff like Street Butter Alpha 3 with the analog stick, it just doesn't work for me very well. I mean, passable, we can get away with it. But yeah, these original controllers just weren't doing it for me. One option I explored in the past was the RafNet adapter where we can use like the Super Nintendo NES Classic controllers or Wii controllers. I was always using this, this Club Nintendo controller actually, but this is the one thing I was using all the time. Could use these, whatever you want, like that Wii connection you could use through this RafNet adapter. It's really awesome. But the one thing I've been telling people, not really people, I guess, companies, is when are you guys gonna clone the Hori Game Boy Player digital controller? When is that gonna happen? It just seems like a no-brainer. Old school, I'm familiar with this brand. I own like some of their cables. I don't really have any accessories from them. They hit me up recently, said, hey, we cloned it. We got you. You wanna check it out? And it's like, hell yeah, that was my reaction. Like, it's about time. Somebody had to clone it. Like I said, I have no experience with their, you know, accessories. So I'm hoping this is awesome. This going for like a little over 20 bucks on their website and at like, you know, local mom and pa retro game store type things. They should be having these out there. But we're gonna check this out today. Digital controller for the Game Boy player. Play Game Boy games like you've never played them before. Yeah, because the Hori digital controller used is like freaking $200. You're lucky to find one for 200 bucks. Those things are going for a lot of money. A few years ago, they were under $100. Now they're over 200. So, you know, it's just the way it is. We're gonna open this thing up. We gotta, we gotta test this out real quick. That's what's on the agenda today is to test this out and see if I'm gonna buy another one. Like if I really like this thing, I'm buying another one. Never owned the original Hori controller because it's just so damn expensive. When it was cheaper, I almost grabbed one, but then I was like, I'm not spending that kind of money on a controller, even though I have on other controllers, but I just couldn't justify it. So let's see. Yeah, this feels very, very light. I mean, the cable's giving a little bit of weight, but it does feel pretty light. I mean, the only thing I could really compare it to is a Super Nintendo controller like this Club Nintendo Classic controller. Uh, weight feels about the same, to be honest with you. D-pad, let me see. How does the D-pad feel? I mean, we're gonna plug it in and test it. It feels pretty good. It doesn't have a matte finish, more of like a shiny finish to it. So like it's not like hugging my thumb butt greatly, but we do have some butt cheeks on the back of this controller. I just felt that has a nice comfortable feel. How are the triggers? Little stiff, but uh, they feel almost the same as this. These are a little stiff too. I mean, this is a fairly newer controller, but these feel just slightly more stiff than that. Now, what about these buttons? Is there a rattle? Yeah, there's a little button rattle. Get a little bit on that too, so I'm not gonna knock off a point for that, but a little bit of a rattle there. The buttons, I mean, we gotta compare it to Let's see, how far up do they sit? They don't sit up quite as, like this one, the X button's not sitting up as high as an original. Sitting a little lower. The Y button's pretty much on point with height. Then the A button and the B button are looking pretty good, very similar. I'm trying to get that on camera for you. So that's not bad. Z button, which, you know, would be this we have right there. It overall, it feels okay. Doesn't feel amazing, but it feels okay. It's not the, the worst quality, but it's not the greatest quality. It's good though, it feels good. Hopefully it is good. Got this nice long cord, 10 foot cable, the box said. I just had to glance over there because I wasn't sure. Let's test this bitch out, dude. All right, let's see. Damn it, I'm getting my ass whooped. What kind of test is this? Oh, I was getting the buttons confused. Ruby, 
All right, we got the hurricane kick going. Can we can we dragon punch? Dude, Sakura, get off my ass. Let me. Mm. All right. Come on. All right, we got to get a clean match going here, man. I'm not I'm not pulling off anything, but I don't know if it's the controller or just her whooping my ass. All right, let's try this again. It doesn't feel bad. It's it's a light controller. Light controller. But I would rather pay $20 than 200, but I got to see if I could really I should have just went in the training, damn it. So we got to fight her again. She's relentless. Okay. Now she's giving me a chance. Now she's giving me a chance. I feel like, I mean, I wish the D-pad was, uh, had a little texture to it. But the Hadoukis are coming off. Like, my problem is, like, I don't know, it slides a little bit. My thumb, my thumb butt slides, but that's not a big deal. Like, every all the other Nintendo controllers, I'm more used to little bit of texture on them, but it's still way better than the uh, the GameCube D-pad. So that's a huge plus. You know what? We got to open this up. We got to open it up. See what the internals look like. God, she's okay. Uh, so far, so good. She's just she's just being a little relentless here. Make sure the pause button works. We're gonna go ahead and disassemble, tear this thing down, but I, I I like it. I mean, I don't really play fighting games too much, but I'm pulling off moves, not 100% of the time. I do gotta kinda get used to this D-pad. It's, I mean, it's, let's compare it to the Super Nintendo. I mean, it sits about the same. It feels about the same. It's probably about 5% more like stiff, but it's not bad. All right, let's tear this thing down. Here we go. Screw in action. Okay, all the screws are out. It doesn't really, it doesn't really seem like it. But it's just like everything started opening up. It made me feel like there's pressure in here. There's the, the triggers. Let's see what the membranes look like. Pretty standard stuff. Nothing crazy going on here. There it is, little blob right there. I'm not gonna pull out the trigger buttons, but. The membrane seems okay. I mean, it's pretty thick. Doesn't feel overly cheap. Sometimes you get those like clear ones that are really thin, kind of similar to what's on on the Z button, but this doesn't seem bad either. But yeah, not too bad looking controller uh, overall as far as the build quality goes. I mean, it's pretty basic stuff we got going on here, but overall, for the money that's being, you know, asked for, charged, however you wanna say it, for this thing, I, I don't think it's a bad controller for the price. Always got to be careful with these connections. I've had other controllers that have very similar connections for the triggers and a little too much flex and you're fucked, dude. Like they will just disconnect. I mean, this is a, it's a cheap controller, but overall it's not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing put back together, but overall I'm I'm pretty happy with this thing. I'll definitely use it. Gotta get the triggers back on there, I forgot to put them. Uh, but 
for the price they're asking, around 20 bucks, a little more than 20, I think, somewhere around their $20 price range. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I don't have an original Hori to compare it to, but I mean, it's a basic controller. I would imagine the Hori probably feels pretty similar, but the buttons aren't bad. The D-pad's not too bad. I wish it was textured though, instead of uh, glossy. If you got some greasy ass fingers, you know, your thumb butt could be sliding around on it a little bit, but overall it is not bad. We could probably actually change that D-pad out to a Super Nintendo style one. It's gonna be the same form factor. Pretty sure. I'll have to check that out at some point. But there you go. If you're interested in this uh, controller, I'll put a link in the description. Check it out. I think I may just go ahead and buy another one. Old school, uh, you know, I'm, I'm cool with this one. Appreciate you guys. Peace out. Big ass thumb butt. And boom.